Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now, I've been doing too good myself for the last week. Picked up a stomach virus, started blazing from both ends. Uh, and I still don't feel right now. It's still kind of not about 100% back to normal. Uh, but we made it back to the Monday grind. Uh, and we're all right to do some shows anyway. Now I've got a really, really nice Monday grind lined up for us today. We've got a few ragers in there to kick us off. And then we've got some real cool avant-garde, grindy stuff to check out at the end as well, which we love to do on the Monday. It's going to be a right dope one. I'm going to kick off with these guys. I think this is going to be the last track or official video that we get from this release. Uh, but if you haven't checked out their latest album, do it. It sounds really, really dope. This is Rotten Sound. Their track today is called Renewables. This is where you kick off a Monday grind. <laughs> That's how you do it, man. These guys have just come right and tight with this latest album. Aggressive and grindy, super modern and powerful in the mix and loud and just recorded well. Doesn't sound like, you know, some basement job. Uh, and it just sounds proper, man. Really think this is going to be like, to be honest with you, I think it could be one of the grind albums of the year. Definitely a contender so far from what I've heard from uh, the grind scene because it's just really high quality, you know. Super dope band. Check it out if you haven't checked out their latest album. We like these guys, Gummo. This is Grind to the World, Don't Nuke It. Here we go. Grind the fucking world. Massive sound for just the guitar. distortion on that guitar. Dope. Love the video for that one as well. Great way to do it. Uh, but man, these guys have got a cool makeup, just a three-piece band. Uh, I'm sure I spoke about this before. No basses, but the guitarist has got a big, fat, dirty eight-string on there uh, with a really fat, dirty tone on it as well. He's got an EVH there with an orange cab. It's working out nicely for him. But man, makes up for that lack of bass and still has a massive, thick, chunky guitar tone in there. Dope. This is Mothman. These are on the Mathcore Index. Bit of Mathcore for us today as well to check out. Don't ever let me catch you. Let's give it a spin. Turn this one up a little bit. Cool. 
I'd love to see the drummer working with the riffs in that way just to accent it and make it sound more cool. band great drumming love the way the drummer worked and accented the riffs in that one uh, to just make it super dope now these guys made priority submission they're going to be a new band that we're going to start checking out they've only got two subscribers they've got three now because that includes me as well uh, but this is a new band i'm pretty sure it's involving the guy from uh, cincinnati bow tie um he's doing the vocals in this one i think this is useless spaceship i think it's a, a kind of experimental death grime band that him and this other guy have got to do it uh, these guys are out the uk this is hill walking with sluts great name to kick off with let's see what it's all about Basic. Turn on that. Cool, man. These guys are sounding nice. That bass sounds super dope. Now, these guys, uh, they're thinking outside the box with this, just vocals and um, bass in terms of the band. They've got some MIDI drums in there as well. Uh, but, you know, it's focused around the vocals and the bass. What I think they would do or what I would kind of try and experiment with as an experimental band, uh, because you're thinking outside the box in terms of the band makeup and what's the instruments are in the band. Uh, I think you also need to think outside the box in terms of the mix as well. And what it seemed to be, what I think you did, is kind of have the bass down the middle still, as you would in a normal band. But what I think is how I would approach this one, just initially thinking about it, um, is treat the bass as you would guitars in terms of the mix. So double track it, record it at least twice or maybe even four times to make it really thick and loud and then pan those out to kind of get that spread and width and chunk that you get normally from guitars within the mix. Um, and I think you just fill out the sound because it was kind of, had a kind of almost a mono sound to it because it was all down the middle. So if you start spreading those elements out more and double tracking them and things like that, uh, you'll create more of a width but also also more of a chunk and a depth. Uh, so going forward, I would experiment with that stuff, go into the mix, um, just to really fill out the sound in that way. But dope bass in, dope uh, bass tone in there as well. Nice vocals as well. So yeah, be looking forward to checking out more stuff from these guys uh, and slotting them in. Another band to check out on the Monday Grind. Very, very cool. But that's not as experimental as we're actually going to go today. We're going to go even harder than that. Another two-piece band, another just bass and drums and vocals. So there you go. That's kind of thinking out the side of the box with these guys. This is Gamora Heiser. Their track is called Pork Chops and Bulldozers. This is a live one as well from January. Now let's get to know these guys. First time on the channel.
I enjoyed it. Different, original, uh, but cool as well. Let's get, get straight into it. I really enjoyed that a lot. The only thing I'm going to say that I didn't enjoy about it is a personal gripe of mine uh, is a drummer needs to hit his drums just a bit harder. I don't mind softer hits, but there's a point with drums where you need to hit it at a certain amount to get the actual sound out of it. And if you just tap it lightly, it's it doesn't create its sound, you know? It's kind of not giving enough energy to do the job uh, and I felt that this guy was just that wrong side of the line of not giving his drums enough energy to actually sing and do their thing um, and it was a nice recording on the drums as well so I could really hear it uh, and that's a gripe of mine I want to hear each instrument even if it's played softly it's got to be a, it's got to sing you know it's got to actually have the energy to to create the sound that it's meant to um, and especially with drums you know the harder you hit them the better generally um, but even if you're going for soft stuff you've got to hit it at a certain amount to actually get the pop and the click and the the sound out of the drum and I didn't feel we got that from that performance I don't know whether they were in a, in the house or something I got the feeling like they were restrained because of their surroundings you know like they were in a house or something and they couldn't play as loud as they can uh, which is unfortunate and that does happen but even in those situations for the two minutes that you record in the video i just still say play it loud play it hard fuck the neighbors whatever uh, whatever sound constraints you've got um, because that's you know the two minutes that are most important to record when you're doing the recording uh, but man, cool band, another cool band to get on board with, different, I like the bass and the drums, I thought it worked out, their sound was big in this one, a nice grizzle on the bass again as well, I think there were some guitar elements in there, the pinch harmonics and stuff were coming from a guitar, uh, but yeah, it sounded dope and it's nice to get different original kind of avant-garde music on the channel as well, dope. So there you go, that's what I've got for you back after a week and I think I've done alright today with a bunch of dope bands, heavy grinding stuff to kick us off with and then somewhat different out of the ordinary uh, and bands with very very few subscribers <laughs> as a result. Uh, probably will never get thousands and thousands of subscribers on those guys uh, but we'll keep an eye on and we'll keep checking them out and we're fans of them over here, very cool. So we've got an, a, a week booked up mostly this week uh, of people who have kind of had to put on the back burner for a week. Um, so we're doing all right. We'll get some cool bands out this week. Uh, so hit the subscribe and all that jazz if you haven't already. Uh, but otherwise, <clears throat> we'll see when we see you next. Hope you're having a good time. Cheers. Bye.